I'm back again. It's been five minutes, just letting the dough take a little bit of a break. And now we're gonna do the fun part, which is roll these into pretzels. Um, I like the kind of classic pretzel shape, but these also make really good uh, hot dog or hamburger buns. So you can just do a more basic, sort of try to roll them into a, a circle if you wanna make some burger buns. They will expand a little bit. So don't worry too much if the circle's a little small. But I'm gonna go for the classic pretzel shape. So I'm gonna start rolling these, sort of like Play-Doh when you were a kid. You wanna get these kind of as long as and skinny, not too, too skinny, just because uh, we want that little bump in sort of the middle where the pretzel's a little thicker. And then the, the two sides will kind of loop back around. Sometimes I'll kind of spin it, but I have dropped these on the floor which I would not recommend, uh, but it kind of helps get them nice and long. And I still just think it's cool that what was a shaggy mass of water and flour, you know, 20 minutes ago, is so malleable now. It's the magic of gluten. All right, so I think this one's looking pretty good. It's sort of thick in the middle, skinny on both ends. Uh, total pros can do this whole thing where they like fling it around and spin it. I always just do it on the actual uh, pan. So you just kind of want to cross the cross these over on themselves. You can do an extra little knot if you want. And then so it just looks like this. So uh, mine always look a little different. They're not perfect. Some of them will end up looking better than others, but they'll all taste delicious. So I'm going to uh, turn this off again and do that with my other seven pieces of dough. 